Good morning, chimps. Figure why not use the power of technology to make this little video of this scale. Uh, I slightly changed it. Um, <clears throat> in the background, oh, I'll talk about that in a second. In the background, I have a chord progression going from D minor to F minor, um, which actually fits really well with this scale. For, it fits for both of these chords. Um, what I did is instead of playing uh, one, two, three, sharp, four, five for each cell group, it's one, two, three, four, five. So C, D, E, F, G, A flat now, B e flat, C, D flat, E flat, and then E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, and C. <coughs> and, uh, Anyway, let's just hear, you kind of heard what it sounded like against the progression. So right now we're on the D minor chord. So notice, normally on a D minor chord you'd probably just play like a C major kind of sound, so to get that D Dorian. But instead you have... kind of takes you somewhere. And then even playing from the same starting note here on the F minor chord, notice how it still fits that sound because the scale is actually pretty logical sounding. Then you could try playing thirds and stuff through it. Dorian. So that's D Dorian, but now we're playing this. <clears throat> kind of takes you to a different place. Right, I'll kind of just play around with it for a second um, so you can kind of hear it in some different ways. Um, oh, that's good. Anyway, there you go. It's a three or two octave, uh, I don't know what the hell you would call it. I think, what did I call it? The chick magnet. So here's the chick magnet one more time. Mm -hmm. 